So James, thanks for joining me today. Um, lots going on with COVID, but why are we talking about climate change right now? Well, simply, it's the biggest issue facing our generation and will remain so way beyond COVID and for the rest of our lives and careers. Uh, there's $300 trillion of investment required to deliver net zero globally by 2050, uh, with huge impacts on our economies uh, and presenting both risks and opportunities for our clients. Uh, and looking at the, the current political mood with several governments, particularly in Europe, shaping up for post-COVID green stimulus packages, um, it's an immediate issue. And looking across our different clients, this is obviously a, a cross-sector and government issue, but particularly in financial services, what are our clients trying to solve for? Well, uh, they are embedding climate change scenario models in particular to support strategy, risk management, business decision making and external engagement, um, both related to their, their own balance sheets and their own assets and to the assets that they have under management. Um, and the focus is on supporting, particularly right now, uh, positive external engagement. So there are a small but growing number of firms facing climate related shareholder motions at their AGMs. And you, you mentioned earlier climate change modelling. Can you be a bit more specific about the types of things clients are looking for in these models? Well, yeah, it's quite a sophisticated, complex combination of things, um, all of which our climate change scenario model provides. Proper integration of transition and physical risk, uh, rapid, coherent scenario expansion on a wide range of internal and regulatory scenarios, detailed bottom-up treatments of key sectors such as oil and gas, transport, utilities, uh, which treat the energy system as a proper interconnected value chain, coverage of both listed and unlisted companies, um, the ability to identify for physical risk where counterparties' physical assets are around the world, um, and the ability to assess both transition and physical risk on buildings and mortgages. Um, and clients are also looking for configurability, um, the ability to incorporate their own views on specific regions, sectors and companies' transition and adaptation plans into the, into the models. That's quite a, a challenging set of requirements we've got there. Indeed it is. Thanks, James.